EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present second round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Moving into the second round of the Web.com Tour Championship, the fourth and final stop of the Web.com Tour Finals. And Frank, you can feel the pressure building. You certainly can, Rich, and I expect that we're going to see more of what we saw yesterday, which is some fearless golf. And uh, these guys are playing for a PGA Tour card, and they're not backing down. Great way to start a hole nicely placed in the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled, that he could open up a three iron, that's right, a three iron, on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60 degree sandwich, amazing. Bogey here yesterday, chance to better that today. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Let's check in on the action at the 15th. Sitting comfortably inside the cut line, it would appear the steady play will be enough to secure a spot in this weekend's action. Frank, what's the key on this approach here at the 15th? Well, knowing exactly where that pin placement is, Rich, um, there's mounding, there's that little gut out of the right side of this green. If you miss your mark here, that ball can easily finish 30 or 40 feet away. Should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Well, he's on the green, but still plenty of work left. About a 25 footer coming up. Pretty putt coming up. Had a bogey on this hole yesterday. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Getting set now over the putt. Has his par. You licking your chops here, Frank, as a player when you get to this tee box? Well, it's an opportunity. A four here certainly <laughs> makes the mood better when you walk to 17 and then 18. So a four here is more than just making a birdie on a par five. <laughs> Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort effortless to hit the ball 300 yards through the air that easy. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Nice position, short grass, second shot.
Now his third, staring right at the green. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Far yesterday, now for birdie. That birdie will help, Frank. Certainly moving into the top half, that's for sure. And uh, starting to narrow that number down in front. Through the years, Frank, there have been six aces here at 17. But it's hard to imagine that the last one was back in 2002 by none other than the most interesting man in the game and probably the most interesting par three in the game. Well, hit the green, but certainly not close to the hole. Yeah, probably barely give him a C for that shot. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Frank, amazing how this hole has gotten away. Yeah, he's not Robinson Crusoe. Happened to everybody that's played this game. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Now one of the more difficult holes in golf. The 18th here at Sawgrass, 462 yard par four. In 2013, this hole averaged 0.39 strokes above par. What makes it so challenging, Frank? Just that big body of water uh, that's to the left of, of 18 here that's also shared to the right of nine. Not a single fairway bunker on this, uh, on this 18th hole. So really, Lack of definition. It's so hard to find a target here. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Pretty good shot right there. Settles in over the putt. So a tough way to close the round, missing a short putt and a bogey here at 18. Frank, it's been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Yeah, it's not exactly a small gap between uh, that player there and, uh, and the rest of the field. It's, that gap's got to feel like the Grand Canyon right now. EA Sports and the Web.com Tour proudly present third round coverage of the Web.com Tour Championship. Now on to one of the most exciting back nines in golf here at the TPC Sawgrass in the stadium course. Let's begin at number 10, Frank, and what do you make of this hole? It's another one where you're just trying to fit the tee shot in the, uh, in the fairway there. It's not a driver, just something that stays right, and of course, um, We've seen a lot of people stray here down the left side. Who can forget Mickelson when he won his uh, Players' Championship, hitting that phenomenal 7-iron out of the fairway bunker, through the trees, and still finding the putting surface. But speaking of the putting surface, 
This green has more undulations than just about any green on the golf course. Second shot now at the 10th, and again, Frank, accuracy is at a premium. Yeah, gone are the days uh, to sort of thrash it out of the trees like Phil Mickelson. Ideally, coming out of that fairway, you're hitting to a green that moves to the right. So that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult than what uh, the mind's eye first sees. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Frank, this game will drive you crazy. Yeah, you can do all so many things right, and then just something so simple, completely wrong. He'll take par and move on. Now the time to be aggressive. Par five, 558 yard, 11th hole, Frank. What's the key here? Tee it high and let it fly. This is the big chance here. This is one of the widest fairways on the golf course. This is where you chance it all. Right where they were aiming, in the fairway. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. That's an absolute beauty. Frank, the scoring club is in hand now. Chance to make a birdie. Yeah, coming from that left side, you've got a full view of this green. And uh, you can see the mounds, too. Use the mounds to your advantage. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Just five feet left. Frank, where is that thing? Yeah, thank God for small mercies. Frank, what's so much fun about TPC Sawgrass is the excitement that it generates for a fan and how many different holes there are. 12 is a good example. Yeah, 12 looks like it's fresh from Scotland. You can see why Pete Dye spent a lot of time over there. Um, tee shot looks straight away, but the second shot is blind. The shot you get in Scotland with the wedge where you just see the top of the flagstick and you've got to really guesstimate on the yardage that you have. But a good wedge shot and someone that can judge their distance, this is certainly a birdie hole. Should be safely on deck. That is classy. Well, a chance of going in. Well, he's going for back to back birdies here, trying to jumpstart this round. Some momentum moving in the right direction. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. A makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. No problems there. Yeah, it keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Hole number 13 here at Sawgrass, tricky 181-yard par three. You don't have to hit directly at the 